anywhere you can get to the bathroom. A life of domestic servitude might not immediately take your fancy. After all, wouldn't you rather be the one being waited on hand and foot rather than you doing the waiting? But when the job involves the royals... It's Buckingham Palace. Just to be inside and work there and see what's happening, I think it's amazing. It's going to be something I will be really, really happy to do so. So for any royal household or any high net worth household, it's of utmost importance to know how to run a bath. But whilst for most life is more downturn than downton, some can still easily afford the finer things in life, where everything has to be just so. Just put the plate down for her. Those who have a rather different definition of what constitutes a dog's dinner. They want them to be fairly fresh. Um, so that they can train them in a way that tastes it. And they wouldn't necessarily be looking for somebody with years of experience because they want to shape them into a certain way and perhaps have a head housekeeper who would teach them the way of the court. The successful candidate's duties will include pressing and preparing clothes, arranging the service of tea and breakfast trays, running baths for guests, or should that be baths, and cleaning Buckingham Palace's 760 windows. And of course, given who the boss is, absolute discretion and confidentiality will also be required. All of this for the less than princely sum of £14,400 a year, although you have to say the digs aren't too bad. The royal household staff may no longer be referred to as servants, in public at least, but no one would deny there remains an upstairs-downstairs divide. In this supposedly progressive century, isn't it all just a little antiquated? I can see why the general public might think having a staff is a bit old hat, but you have to remember it is a huge house. Buckingham Palace is not small. It has 78 bathrooms alone, for heaven's sake. And so you are going to need help doing that. Even sort of average middle class homes have daily help coming in sometimes. But perhaps the job is more egalitarian than it first seems. After all, not everyone can hope to ascend to the throne, but you might end up cleaning one of them in Buckingham Palace's 78 bathrooms. Neil Patterson, Sky News.